what is going on guys your boy Sister here bring you guys a cinema tutorial and this tutorial is actually going to be showing you how to do the uh, selective region breaking random spots and renders uh, I do not know the title yet to this freaking video obviously so anyways what this is be showing you guys is how to make a you know a nitro blast render oh my gosh but you know <laughs> same thing it's just really just um making it so you can actually break certain pieces inside like a circular radius besides breaking the whole entire render and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Some of you guys probably already know how to do this. It's like the crumble effect made by, I think it was Quezzy. Um, but it was like, oh, the tour was originally done by Quezzy, but it was made by like Psych uh, from way long ago. He quit now. But anyways, what you do is you take your render and you uh, go to quality high and your piece is to 300 or something high so it looks cool, uh, like your pieces wise. And you always have your quality to high. And then we're going to wait for it to break. But the cool thing about this like little like uh you know effect is you can use it as what it is you can just break select the regions or you can add like um your add-on effect like a uh, like I had like my virus style you can put that in like so it like it looks like it breaks the render in like a certain spot I don't know it's I thought you guys can be creative with this so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it it's really really simple it's just like like a two second thing so once this is done breaking right about Mm, now nah, there we go. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna content browse. I'm just gonna change the uh, the color of this really quickly. It's gonna bother me. So anyways, what you do is you go to MoGraph Effect or not MoGraph Effect. You go to MoGraph Fracture and you scroll all the way down and you click on the last piece and you click on the first piece and with while holding Shift, it will click in between all the other ones. And you take your first piece and just drag it into your fracture and then you delete whatever group you had. And what you do is you go to Fracture, you click on MoGraph, Effector, and, excuse me, Random. And what you do is go to Random, and you obviously you know how to do this part. This is where you would usually stop at and be like, you know, this is, I'm going to break the pieces and leave it like so. But what you actually do, you can go to Fall Off, and you go to the Shape. And what you do is change that from Infinite to Circular, or Sphere. And what you do now is you're going to have this little circular ball you can see in these like little red and yellow lines. What you do is just take your Movement Tool. And then you just make sure you have the random selected, and you can actually scroll up, or you can, you can move it around. And you can see how this is like breaking the. And I'm gonna push it up a little bit too with the blue arrow, so you can see it a little bit more better. Hold on. Take the blue arrow. Right, anyways, there we go. So you can see while I'm gonna move it around, you can see it's actually selecting what's in the radius and only breaking that, which is actually really really cool. You can have like a style where you can like have one side broken or one side not, which would probably make no sense because. Probably can't tell the logo, so don't don't listen to me. I'm dumb. But what you do, you know, it's a really cool effect. Uh, I know Quezzy did a tutorial on his crumble effect, which is basically the same exact thing, but he does it in a different way, where you can actually take uh, pieces that you have in this little selected region and then break it from smaller to bigger. Uh, if, if anything, I'll put the thing in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch that because it's just it's just another tutorial. He's really it's really good too. So what you do also what you can do is go to the random and you can go to the effector. And you can see the random mode. You can also change the seed also. It's just, you know, change the seed and have a little different breaks and randomizing effects. But what you do is if you go to random mode, you have uh, four different other effects besides random. You have, like, Gaussian, which is kind of like a, uh, a more um, controlled kind of break. It's not as exciting or explosive as the random, uh, just random effector. But, you know, it's just really cool. You can change them up and, you know, find what you like. And, like, hopefully this can come in handy. Um, I know one of my designers in uh, Divinity are like, you know, they use this effect and like have a hammer uh, look like it's breaking the logo or a bullet or something. That's really cool. It's really creative. You know, that's kind of things what I would expect from you guys if you were to do this effect. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I do have a new mic coming in soon. It's going to be a snowball. So I mean, if you care to know, but uh, yeah, it's going to be really cool. Hopefully I'll have nicer tutorials or nicer voices or nicer video quality uh, for you guys. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. So I'll talk to you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.